No, nah, this, this is how you want it. This lamb is soft right now. This is a piece of lamb that will call foul every other play. Now, another episode of Fridge Diving. We're gonna delve into my favorite red meat. Actually, the only red meat that I still eat is lamb. I've given up beef, I've given up bison, I've given up ostrich. Okay, I'm gonna show you how to prep a butterfly leg of lamb, slow cook it, wake up, surprise yourself, and then make two different dishes out of it. Let's get this lamb cracking. Beautiful. I swear to you, lamb is such a beautiful creature. Mary had a little lamb and then I ate it. Okay, so here we have this butterfly leg of lamb. So I'm gonna put a rub on it that's literally the basic rub for anything good, in my opinion. If you don't wanna get too complex, if you don't wanna delve into different regions, all you need, olive oil, salt, onion powder, garlic powder, and either black pepper, cayenne pepper, or both. That's it, when in doubt, if you have those ingredients, it's go time. Then, we're gonna flip the lamb, and we're gonna repeat the same process. After we do this, we're gonna let this sit for a while. The longer the better, to be honest. Like, you could do it overnight, you could do it for an hour, two hours, basically however much time you have within reason, it's, it'll absorb more flavor. We're gonna let this sit for a while just like that. I'm gonna put this in a Dutch oven, then I'm gonna throw it in the oven oven. So we're gonna double oven this lamb. You never had double oven lamb in your life. I put a little olive oil in the bottom of the pan. To be perfectly honest, you don't really need to, being that I already olive oiled that. And there's a fat content that'll melt, but we like olive oil, so <laughs> Damn, these are good, wholesome cuts. We don't wanna leave any of that good behind. So usually, I smash the garlic and peel the garlic. Being that I'm gonna slow roast this, I'm throwing the cloves in just like this, covered. They're gonna heat up, and then I'm gonna squeeze it out like a little paste at the end. I'm just gonna stab them in. It's almost like you wanna hide it. You wanna forget that it's there. Thyme is essential. Thyme and rosemary, you don't really make lamb without thyme and rosemary. Being that this is butterflied, we're just gonna layer this delicately. But if there's one thing that I feel rosemary was made for, the perfect pairing is lamb and rosemary. Like, not, nothing goes better with lamb and rosemary. And then we're gonna stab again, we're gonna inject. We have a little spice injected forest. And we're gonna do one more um, coating on top of all the seasonings just to give it like a, a crisp, a crunch. Well, let's put this in the oven. Cover this, let it cook at 400 for about two hours, two and a half hours, and then we're gonna bring it down lower and just let it rock for as long as I can wait. The longer the better. At this point, we had the lamb in the Dutch oven in the other oven for about six hours, slow cooking, falling apart, and we're about to make two different creations with it. I'm gonna pull it out the oven right now. Now, this, this is how you want it. This lamb is soft right now. This is a piece of lamb that will call foul every other play. This shit is soft. You see, you could just break it apart. The garlic, I kept the garlic the whole time with the skin on. We're gonna just squeeze out the insides. Drop that, let it dissolve. And I just wanna break this all up. You know, half of this is gonna go on a ragu, half of this is gonna go on a Popeye. You cook the lamb down and you have two different dishes out of it. You take out all the excess rosemary, all the stems, all, all the time. They serve their purpose, now, now we remove them. That's crazy. The thing is, I'm not faking it, it's a real reaction. I'm gonna open up the can of tomato sauce right now. Not tomato sauce, crushed red tomatoes. First ingredient to a tomato sauce is tomato. So we're gonna take these, crush them into cubes, and you know, I got my man here with me right now. He told me that in Guatemala, there's a certain way that they do this, so I'm gonna do this the Guatemala way. We we'll just squeeze that and drop it. It's like, I'm sorry, baby girl, I can't be with you. Now her little heart gets crushed. <laughs> So we're gonna hit this with some black pepper. We're not gonna season this as much as I season my traditional sauce because there's already so much going on with the lamb that it, it, it doesn't need that much of a enhancement. Sea salt. I believe we need some carrots. Lamb ragu calls for carrots. Another ingredient, lamb ragu. This is different than any other pasta sauce I make. We use a carrot because we want to sweeten it up. 
It goes well with the lamb also. It's a beautiful contrast. We're gonna use some red wine. It's good, just a little splash. Last but not least, we gotta add some garlic. There's a lot of garlic in the lamb, so we'll go four cloves. Four cloves is good. I think I don't bother to even chop it up because don't let it slow cook anyway. When it slow cooks, all that flavor escapes. The right thing happens. Couple crushed reds, a little garlic powder. So while this sauce is cooking, we're gonna work on something else. See, I got some celery, I got some carrots. We'll use about four carrots. Right now we have organic, different colored carrots. And we're gonna shave them. And again, I'm making these chunkier for a reason that you'll, you'll find out about in the very near future. Yeah, this is good. We're not gonna use all of this, but we are gonna use this. Pull out another pan real quick. We're just gonna stir fry those real quick on a, on a, on a high flame. Cause I'm about to do something special with them, so. Just wanna give them a little suntan real quick. Let that pot heat up. Check this sauce out, hand squeeze sauce. Yeah, that's crazy, something so simple and so fire, bro. That sauce is banging. And it didn't, even, it didn't even all come together yet. I'm gonna put some onion in the, in the pot pie. Drop the vegetables in, and some olive oil. We're just gonna pan fry them quickly, you know? Little pepper, a little sea salt, a little more olive oil. See, we have one of my favorite things in the supermarket, pre-made pie crust. We're gonna make this pot pie. That's what we're getting these vegetables right for. We're not gonna cook them all the way because they're gonna bake in the oven. The rat who's cooking, pay attention to something. I'm letting you see something else is about to happen in the future. Gonna grab a mug and a ladle, and we're gonna steal a little bit of this ragu, a little of this nectar before we put the lamb in it. Put this on the side. Come in close, look at both of these. Look at what I got going on right now. Perfect, those are done. We're gonna take a scoop of lamb, and we're gonna put it right here. We're gonna take a scoop of lamb, we're gonna put it right here. We're gonna take a scoop of lamb, we're gonna put it right here. And we're gonna take a scoop of lamb, and we're gonna put it right here. Take some of these vegetables, shake them right on top of the lamb. I'm gonna toss the vegetables and the lamb. You might be thinking right now, why wouldn't you just mix the lamb and the vegetables first and then put it in the Popeye? Truth is, I forgot. So I'm doing it like this, don't judge me. A little more olive oil, another splash of cayenne, and then we put the top on. Yeah. Top fell, it's okay. Spread it out. You just kind of smash it, and when it heats up, it just, it just me melds into each other. I like the word meld. Meld is a fire word. You know, it could have been a little more perfect, but this is like, like anything else, I find beauty in its imperfections. Got the oven at 290. Put that directly on the rack. You know, based on color, but I say about 20 minutes. 20 minutes, half hour. But I told you I had another surprise for you. As you see, I have some vegetables left here. I got a secret cup of sauce. And we got some Beyond Meat hot sausage because not everybody eats meat, not everybody eats lamb. So I'm gonna make a hero for my man right now. I'm gonna make some fire, sausage, peppers, carrots, etc., with the ragu. And we're gonna just get right to it. We're gonna bring this sauce down to a simmer. I'm gonna make a, a vegan sausage and peppers. That's why I took that cup of sauce out earlier. When, when I took that secret mug of sauce and nobody knew why, now, now it's all adding up. Switch on um, burners real quick, cause we just have the ragu on a simmer and we're trying to go high with this sausage, so. We got some plant-based mozzarella. Shh, look at this, look what we have here. I'm preparing the bread for the sandwich. We're actually gonna olive oil it so, so it's just right. I'm gonna wrap it. We're gonna put this in the oven and let it let it do what it does. All right, at this point, the ragu's done. We're gonna take that off, let it sit, boil this penne, and it's almost dinner time. Sausage coming out phenomenal. It's getting that outside crisp that you need, you know? Scoop these out, put these, put these where they need to go. Final phase, we're gonna bring that hidden cup of sauce back. We're gonna put that on top of the sausage while everything else is almost ready. 
One of the many benefits to being vegan is your food cooks faster. More penne coming to an end right now. The penne is almost boiled. We're about to make this ragu dish complete. The pot pie has got about five minutes left. You already see the vegan delight in front of your very eyes. You came here for one recipe, but we gave you three. See that? You see the juice sneaking out from the crevices? It's basically ready. Let's plate this with a spatula. I don't have a pasta strainer right now, so we're gonna strain it like so. That looks so perfect, I'm not even gonna take a bite of it. I'm gonna get a little cup full. It's too pretty to even eat. That shit's on display. Hands down, that's the best thing I ever cooked in my life. Now that shit is banging, it really is. And now we did that, just to make room for the pot pie. Yeah, I don't even know what's the best, honestly. All three of these are in heaven right now. You thought you were coming for one recipe, you ended up with three. We got the best vegan sausage sandwich you ever had in your life. Lamb pot pie, lamb ragu. I'm proud of myself, you should be proud of me too. I told you. I, 